Hi guys, today we are talking about heart failure. Now the heart is a pump. It circulates blood throughout the body. So heart failure equals pump failure. Heart failure occurs when the heart cannot pump enough blood to supply the body's needs. So in general, pump failure is going to lead to decreased perfusion forwards and increased congestion backwards. Now let's talk about a couple causes. Uh, first one is it could be caused by a myo- myocardial infarction uh, because dead muscles or damaged muscles, they can't pump. It might also be caused by hypertension. Uh, increased afterload equals increased stress on those heart muscles. And third could be caused by valve disorders in efficient pumping, right? Because blood's not moving in the right direction. Now let's talk about how we diagnose this. We're going to look at our BNP, our brain natriuretic peptide. It's a hormone secreted by the heart muscles, the cardiomyocytes in response to stretching of the ventricles. So um, we can also look at an echocardiogram, which can detect ejection fraction and can diagnose those valve disorders that we were just talking about. The third thing to diagnose, we'll look at a chest x-ray to detect cardiomegaly and pulmonary edema. Some complications that we might see is volume overload and decreased perfusion. Now let's talk about assessment for a minute. We are going to look at both right-sided heart failure and left-sided, but let's start with right-sided first because these do look a little little different. Uh, For right-sided heart failure, we expect to see a decreased pulmonary perfusion, so low oxygenation, low activity tolerance. Uh, Increased systemic congestion. So we're going to see peripheral edema, increased jugular venous distension, increased preload, weight gain, fatigue, liver and GI congestion. Now let's talk about left-sided heart failure. We're going to see decreased systemic perfusion. So we may see skin that's pale or dusky, decreased peripheral pulses, slow capillary refill, decreased renal perfusion, which may lead to decreased urine output, kidney injury, or failure. We're also going to see increased pulmonary congestion, pulmonary edema. So we'll see cough, pink frothy sputum, crackles, wheezes, tachypnea, shortness of breath on exertion, and lastly, anxiety and restlessness in these left-sided heart failure patients. Now for therapeutic management, the goal is to decrease the workload on the heart while still increasing cardiac output. So we want to decrease preload, we want to decrease afterload, and we want to increase contractility. All right, so again, we're talking about heart failure today. The heart is a pump, it circulates blood throughout the body, and heart failure equals pump failure. Thanks guys, see you next time. This has been another episode of NCLEX Flash Notes Podcast, your no-fluff study companion for NCLEX success, providing exceptionally clear and concise content to conquer the NCLEX exam. Now, if you want to follow along while you listen to this show, you can head over to nclexbook.com to get our free ebook, NCLEX Flash Notes, with 77 must-know NCLEX nursing topics. And as a bonus, you'll receive 16 full-color nursing cheat sheets. Don't wait. Visit nclexbook.com today. That's nclexbook, N-C-L-E-X-B-O-O-K.com. Happy nursing.